There we go. Sorry, push ups. I never see you work out with makeup on either. <laughs> Both of you. Right. I normally have a little on. I have none on. I'm so excited. This is good. I've been eating terrible. It's been so good. It's so good. All the cookies. I ate it for dinner tonight. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? Your body's like We're crazy. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seven. Okay. Oh, I seven, six, five, four, three. So we're gonna do a side lunge and then you're gonna add a little squat in the middle. So you're gonna side lunge it here and then come back in and squat and then take it out to the other side. So just work right, right left to right there. So nice and deep in your squat and then push those hips back. You guys doing tonight? <laughs> Good. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. She's so excited. No, no, I'm not a friend. Is that fine? Is there any friend and coworker that goes to Michigan that comes to for the holidays? Oh, it's like for coming in late. Oh goodness. I know. <laughs> and we just found out about it today at oh, like four. <laughs> Three. Two. One more. All right, you guys. And then you're gonna give me those spider climbers where you're just bringing your knee like up to the outside there a little bit. So kind of like a mountain climber, but I want you just to maybe slow it down a little bit and really pull that knee out to the side slightly. So you have to make a food less. Thank you. 
bring them in hard on the edges, right? Right at the edge of your mat, step those feet in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. You guys sweating? Yes? Okay, I'll show you here. So you're just gonna do like a deadlift with like a hammer curl. So you can go a little heavy here. Do a hinge down on the sides there and then just add the curl at the top. So we'll just go right between the two moves. And then the second move, I'm gonna have you just, we've done these before. I don't know if you guys were here or not, but they're just gonna be like fast curls. So you're just gonna be like, um, down to my lighter weights. And I'm gonna do some inch worms too. So. Let's work through this, you guys. So give yourself a little shoulder roll. Okay, here we go. Four, three, two, and one. So just bend at the hip there, right? Push the hips back. And then come up, give your nice bicep curl at the top. If you guys need different sizes too, let me know. I can always grab you something. A little bit bigger. Did you have a good Christmas, though? Yeah? Get everything you wanted? I don't think ponies fit on your tree. No? <laughs> Is that what you wanted? <laughs> awesome, guys. Okay, 10, 9, 8. Did I introduce you guys? Did you need? Uh, I feel like you almost know it, but I don't know that we have been that. Uh, no. No. Four. Not here. Yeah. Not in this time. Yeah. <laughs> Two, one more. Nice to meet you. Rhonda, that's Rhonda. She works with Leslie. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll try this, you guys. See what you think about your weight. So, right here. So, almost like fast. But if all you have to work with is a heavier set, then you can go a little bit slower. But I'm really just starting to bring one up as the other comes down. Stand nice and tall and just kind of sink into your legs. And use your breathing. It'll be quick. Let's go 15. And I'm going to do inch forms, but I'm going to have you maybe add a little pickup at the top. I'll show you. Keep pumping them out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, good. three, two. Okay. So just follow me. Watch. I'm going to set these up. And if you want bigger, you can always get more. I'm going to keep those right there. Kind of inch out. And keep it in line. You can add your push up on the end, or you can leave it out if you need to. And then look, I'm just going to bring it up, pick up my weight like a deadlift, hinge back down, and repeat. So, see what you think. I was good. Set those heavier ones. When you go to pick them up, use your legs. Look, I'm here, I'm here, and then right back down. A little like double, double uh, deadlift in this first circuit. A little extra there. Okay, you guys fully come up, walk it up. Come up, squeeze your butt. Good. And then do this down. Awesome. A little back, a little bicep, a little hamstring, a little core. Okay, 20 seconds. You're building about two or three more in. Three, two, and then 
that's the worst thing. Decide what you think. You need to go a little bit lighter. Like the other ones closer by there.
Then okay, we're gonna switch gears a touch. We're gonna do some stuff on our back. So um, you might need to use a little light lighter when you guys drink. I'll show you over here. Um, I'm probably gonna stick with the tens um, for both things here. So you're gonna go separate the uh, the weights a little bit here before you come down. Straight down. You're gonna add a little close to the bottom. You're gonna come up, and then you're gonna add a fly. Okay. So those weights separated. Little pulse, push, and then add the fly. So you kind of bring them straight down. You know, give you plenty of time to just kind of anger. You're gonna let your head rest, of course. Get yourself nice and uh, attached to your mat. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have to be a little bit of tricep, so like when you come up out of that at the top there, and then fly out. You just look up, chin up, embrace your core. And then the second thing we do, you guys, we're going to do some kneeling raises. So we're going to drop over on our knees. I want to double up the mat. Okay, give me 20 more seconds here. If you need to leave the fly out, then you can just do those pulses with that straight press, right? If your dumbbells start to feel a little bit heavy, you just do the straight press, pulse, and leave the fly out, okay? Cool, a couple more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there you have it. Now, let me show you this next one. And if it bothers the knees, then you just want to, you can either do the standing, or you can leave like the little rise out of it, but let me double this up here. I might use my 15, but remember this will be like, go back here. So you want to start like with your knees down and then as you come up, you can kind of squeeze your booty, right? And then just sit back on the knees or if that bothers your knees, then you're just going to do a kneeling raise right here. Okay, and stay, stay up to the moon. So you start there. Start down, Megan. Wait up at the top. Okay, and then go here. Yeah, and then pull it. Like you've got like a cable. Like imagine if you're using a cable machine. Right, straighten them out. That's why it doesn't need to be super heavy. Give your booty a little squeeze. It's gonna get your abs. Right, a little. And then we're gonna do some bare heel raises. So you'll get a little shoulders, a little more glutes. A little hammy. Okay, ten. Okay, it's nine, eight, seven, six, five. And now think about this one, right? Four, three, two, and one. Okay. And then no way you do this one. You're just gonna go into a bear. Now you could do it in a plank too. Okay. If you don't love it in this position, so you're just gonna pop your knees up. You're in that table, right? Like up here. Tuck the toes. Pop the knees up, and then. I'm just gonna do little kicks up. So my my foot stays or my leg stays bent. I'll show you guys through the whole move. And you bring it right back in line and then do the other one. But imagine you've got something on your back there. You don't want it to slide off. I'm trying to keep my body nice and steady. It's great because it gets your lower abs, your shoulders, triceps, and your booty. 20 seconds. Feel through the roof, right? Feel through the roof. And your knees are like hip distance apart. Okay. Eyes in front of your hands or right, right between the hands. 15. Oh, these are hard. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And that's the work. All right. Oh. Okay. Shoulders. Okay. So right back to that full straight press with your fly out, okay? All right, lay out, face them on. Start with like number 11 of your arms here. Slide down, pump it twice at the bottom, press it all the way out, and then take it. Watch that glass onion. Are you oh, gonna watch that one? No, I did like it. it. Did you see the first one? No. Somebody else was telling me that that one was good. What's that one called? Knives Out. Knives Out, okay. I like, what's his name? I like the second. Yes. <laughs> Twelve seconds, girls. Come on, push. 
about. Yes. Yeah. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay, so you're going to get a little bit of relief. Um, it's still a little shorter, but it's under the shoulders uh, with a high pull. So we're going to do one side at a time. So upright roll basically is what you're going to do. So you're going to take a wide squat and you're just going to go up and down on one side. We'll switch and then we're going to go crazy. And I'm going to maybe have you, you can use one or two, but if you've got two smaller ones and you want to use them, you're just going to do like a hold right here and then a press at the top. And it could be one weight, okay? But at least start with me on this first one. If you want to go a little heavy, because you're staying under the shoulder, but I want more of like a wider squat. So toes out a little bit. You got to get down and um, don't let it pull you forward though. Keep your eyes forward. And then you're just going to roll out. Yeah, I think 15 is pretty good. Not too bad there. Just eyes forward. You can have that other hand, I don't know, on your hip or out to the side. I guess I never know where to kind of put it. And just basically your elbow just kind of slides up right by the ear. You're pulling something up off the floor, right? Just press out like in the heels. You can get Lauren to work out with us sometime, Les. I love it. Yeah. She does her own, like, she does work out a lot, but she's good doing like running and that's just kind of like We'll switch in seven, six, five, four, three, two. That'd be fine. Okay, on the side. Should we make fun of you? Aww. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, nice. I don't like that. Do you have the Peloton or just the bike? Got a random bike. And you can do the Peloton app with any bike, right? Right, exactly. So and he has like Apple Fitness. Yeah. Okay. Just work out. There's your time. Yes. Cool. Okay. See what you think. Okay. That one fifteen might work very well for just this next one as well. And or if you think you can get. Two, you want to add the chin there. Don't see that. You can just press out of the top. Take your time, you guys. I'll give you plenty of time now. If a reverse lunge works better for you, these curtsies, you can just do a regular reverse lunge. All right. It's nice that your arms get a little work just by holding that weight. Right at the chin. I'd like to get a pallet on. We really have time. It's nice for like days where. Yeah. And you just need to get sweaty quick. Yeah. You know? I don't think I can rely on that for like my soul like workout. Yeah, I can do it like once or twice a week. You do have any of the lives? Um I have but seven. Maybe I do more instruments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four. You have little names on there? Yeah. <laughs> Two. Awesome, girls. Okay. I'm gonna like I said. Yeah. Okay. Squat jacks. Is that alright? So start kind of here. You can just come down. A little pop there at the top there. Little clap. That we want. Look, you can do the low impact too. You can just sweep side to side. Sit back in those heels though. If you can't go a little tap, like maybe on the side of the ankle, and then a tap at the top. Give it 15. And that's the work. We'll just keep it real simple like that. 10, 9, like 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, guys. That's it. So you're back to that squat with your high pull. Check the feet. Make sure they're wide. Make sure the chest is like open and shoulders are back and down. Don't let that weight pull you forward. All right, so slowly just slide it right up your body. And the elbow comes high by the ear. Good. Okay, it'll be quick. 15. Okay, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, just pass it. All right, right to the other arm. So we're just trying to get about 10 reps on each leg. Or on each arm, I see. 15 seconds. Good, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, and then our curtsies. Just popping that weight. Okay, right here. 10, taking your time. Cross back. Press up at the top. Great. You love legs. Leslie, you're doing your little things tomorrow. Your little oh, sit down stand ups. Sit down. I don't know what to call it. Sit to stand, yeah. One leg, sit to stand. 12. 10. Good, good. Power. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh, goodness. Okay. And then your little squat jack. We'll have to get you in here on a, I'll do a boot camp when you come on Saturday next time. Is it kind of fun? The girls like it because they get to move around a little bit, use some of the machines and stuff. You'll be fine. I promise. We'll flip some tires over here. <laughs> Do some battle ropes. Yes. Yep. John, what do you think? Yeah, right? Just keep your eyes like looking look yeah, forward, yeah. Aubrey. Five, four, yeah, jump in. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right. One more time. And then you guys got some stuff on the front, some tricep stuff and some back stuff. So, not a lot of legs left. Okay. So, let's finish strong here. We need bad reps. Okay. Down straight up, right? Straight down, straight up. Okay. Sit all the way back. Sit in that chair, okay? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, good night. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay. Pass it. Right to go there, off. Right, right, this one's nice. It's a little cardio built in. Down and out, down and out. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, quick to our curtsies. You guys got right about a minute, okay? I'm gonna get a little drink and we'll move on to the floor. All right. Nice and smooth, right? Nice and smooth. We're good. Now we're out. If you're starting to come out of those lunges, start to press it. Okay, right? 15. Over there. Okay, so here's the plan. Um, bird dog. 
So we're going to add just a twice of extension. It's going to require just a little bit of balance from you guys and a little more time on your knees. So what I'm going to do is pop the, I'm going to say maybe I'll do my right arm first so my left leg will come up. So you're in your table, ready to just extend that leg. And then with this arm here, you're just going to go right here. So you just keep the elbow rowed up, rowed, like my elbow is rowed, R-O-W-E-D, and then I'm just kicking it back. And you're gonna keep reminding you to keep your core okay, engaged. Now, if it's too much, then you can do it with the knee down, right? You can have both knees down. Just give you a little more glutes, a little more hamstrings, and a little more core. And a little balance, right? A little balance. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Really, really, like, channel that inner vertical, okay? Leg out, nice and strong in the back. Okay, by squeezing that cheek, when that leg gets up, will help it from coming down. And then just cut that arm, let's do body. I'll count fast. Okay, girls. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Check your leg. 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, it's loose, right? Switch it out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just take your time. Once you get in your position, put your eye, like, right. Your eyes right by your hand, like where your hand is. Stretch your body, right? Nice and long from your head to your heel. 12, 11, 10, 9, leg up, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, and then so I just using the tens for that. I'm gonna use the tens for the next thing too. You're going into your pullover, but you're gonna separate it. Now that is an option. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, right? Pop up, and then we're just gonna go right here, over, and then right about eye level. You'll find it a little more challenging if you have the weight separated, right? But I want you to give me that solid bridge, right? So from the knees all the way down to the hips, you got a nice straight line. Really engage. Push the heels into the floor. Push your eyes up. Okay, keep the arms. I would say almost entirely straight, right? There's a tiny maybe bend in the elbow, but not much. It's not a tricep. Check the hips. Make sure you breathe. You've got 15 seconds. It's 10. Nine, strong, eight, check the bridge, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then while we're here, look, all I'm gonna do is take my weights, okay? We're here, same ones, and do leg lifts. Now, if two legs is too much, then the, the modification would just be one. I would bring my shoulders up and just keep my arms like super strong, super strong. Nice and smooth, on the way down, on the way up. And that's the work. So we're gonna go right back to our little bird dog tricep, then our pullovers, and then these leg lifts. Then we'll be back up to our feet. Okay, guys, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, pick over. Okay, we'll go a little bit faster through that. So set your table up, right? If it helps too, like if you need a little, like a little boot, like a little boost up, you can always take another weight, set your palm on it. So it gives you a little height there and then you can just kick back too. So I don't know, that kind of helps me. Have the other one right there. Walk okay. that arm into your side and just control it as you go in and out. Just hinging right, right? Just from the elbow to the wrist. That's the only part of my arm that moves. Squeeze the glute on the leg that's up. Okay, good. 12, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then just switch it. Leg goes out, arm goes up, and then extend it out. If you feel knees tomorrow. 12, 11, eight. Do you ever think you'd be doing this? Okay, six, five, four, three, two, and 
three, two. Okay, over to your pullover. Yes. And this should feel good, right? Bridge it out. Back to those 11 in your arms. Straight through your lower abs. Strong arms, strong back, strong core. 12, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and then you can switch your hold, right? You want to switch it. Now, with the hold, like you got a bar, right? Like, that's why I just imagine like a, like a nice bar right here. You can put those weights together end to end, right? End to end. Singles or doubles on the leg lifts. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, sweet. Okay. One more set, you guys. One more set. And then we just got a little finale. It'll be quick, okay? Quick finale and abs. So we've got, we're going to be out here in about seven minutes, all right? Elbow goes up, opposite leg goes out, and then kick it back. Kick it back. All right, focus. Focus. 12, 11, 10, 9, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, switch it out. Okay, as soon as you're in position, okay, start it up on the other side. It's only 20 seconds. Burn them out, right? Burn them out. Quality reps. 15. Squeeze that arm to the body. 10, 9, leg up higher. There you go. Good girls. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two. Okay, single pullovers. Heels towards your body, hips up, eyes up. You guys like this one? Yeah, feels good. Okay, strong hips to that right now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Straight arm hold. Okay. Single or double on the leg lifts. So we're just going to use our body weight for the last set. Okay, it's a quick little, like, it'll take about two minutes. Okay, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're done with our weights. Okay, we're done with your weights. Okay, so we're going to do body weight squats, hold, and then a couple burpees. Now, the burpees will be optional. You can always modify it. Okay. So just quick body weight squats. So we're gonna go right here, just body weight squats, right? Like pump squat. And then we'll hold another good chance to just do like 20 seconds of burpees. Okay. So I would say kind of mid stance on your squat. And if you want to do squat jumps right here, you could always do squat jumps. I would say just give me nice quick reps. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Thank <laughs> you. 
body weight squats. There you go. Right here. Back to it. See how quick that is? Quick. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can set your hands right down. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Quads are feeling heavy.